Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of 911 on Fox season 4 episode 4. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my peoples, welcome back. So we starting off, it's a block party. Everybody seems to be having a good time. There's people over here barbecuing. There's kids with their water guns running around. Women fixing potato salad. All things that go on at a barbecue. And I was like, see, I would love to have a block party. It just seemed like everybody was having a good time. Except one woman. She behind her gate poking her finger at people mad that people were actually having a good time. Kids running her yard. Now, why they do that, I don't know. She getting a fussing at them, wagging that finger, get out of my yard, so they squirt her. So, of course, naturally, she got to call 911. She called a dispatch operator, May answer. She's like, you got to come here quick. I have been shot. May like, oh, Lord, somebody just shot this woman. She's like, yes, they're running around. They got water guns. She's like, hold up. You got squirt shot with a water gun? Are you serious, ma'am? You cannot be calling 911 for non-emergency, you know, things. She's like, all right, I'll show them. And next thing you know, we hear a gunshot go off. The, the You know, the crew get there. She in the pool, shot dead. So now we got to uh, play clue and find out who was the person who did this. Like, her gate and house is locked up. There is, like, signs of the struggle, but, like, who did it? But we do find out that she has been sending mail and calling 911 a lot. So we don't know who did it. Like the whole neighbor looked like they could all be accomplices. And none of the neighbors seemed like they was upset that she was dead in the first place. Now Chimney, he over here about to lose his mind. Now Maddie then gave him this secret and we're yet to find out what the secret is. But I'm going to get a little to that at the end of the video. Chimney can't keep secrets. Chimney the type of person, as soon as he hears something, as soon as he see another person, he got to go tell it. But he didn't promise Maddie that he's not going to talk with, you know, Maddie, that's, you know, kind of wrong on your part to tell a secret to somebody who cannot keep a secret. By now, you should know that Chimney can't keep secrets. So, the first person he goes to is his brother. They playing basketball. He's like, I know this secret about Book, but I can't tell this secret about Book. But if I tell you this secret about book, then, you know, it'll be off my conscience and I can tell somebody and I can get some relief to my system because I didn't, you know, I didn't spill these beans. You know, Al, was it Albert? He don't want to tell the secret because he is roommates with book. Like, how you going to sit there and tell me a secret about my roommate and then tell me not to say anything? Then I'm going to be all weird about, be, be weird around him while he at the house and he going to know something's up. So, Albert, Albert is like, deuces, in mid-basketball game, takes off running like, nope, mm -mm, I, I have no parts on this. I don't want to know nothing. You keep that to yourself. Chimney here at the crew. Telling them how, you know, the mom and the dad, uh, Maddie and Buck's mom and daddy is coming to town. And they was like, um, um, he had said, you know, they are completely different. And she said something else and he says, you have no idea. And they looking like, now what you know, Timmy, he like, you know something about somebody, but you can't tell something about somebody. And it's really eating at you about, and you know something about somebody. And they looking like, okay, Timmy, you know, it look like you're going to tell us what's going on. Go ahead, relieve it off your system and let us know what is going on. He got to run up out of there because he is seconds off of telling somebody. He is ready to explode. I was like, child, that is my mama and my grandma, if I tell you, but they cannot keep a secret. And I'm not even going to, I am better at it, but my mama and my grandma, they bad. They, they just can't hold water. Now, we found out, find out, the old girl that was shot at the um, block party, she was out here being a whole mess to her whole neighborhood. She was permit patty. She not going to scold in this little girl that she does not have a work permit. You know, she is not certified, you know, that this is a clean establishment. This little girl out here selling lemonade for 50 cents. And you over here being a permit patty to her? Then on top of that... She had tried to poison another neighbor, another neighbor's dog because he was getting into her yard. So he didn't fed her. She didn't fed the dog some poison, and luckily, you know, they found the dog and was able to get him to the vet quick, fast, and in a hurry. But it's like 
Ma'am, you out here doggone it chastising children because they don't have a permit and trying to kill dogs? Mm mm. She was just the worst neighbor that you could ever think of. And one of the neighbors was being shaded as like, it's just like her to ruin a party. Like, never mind the fact that, you know, it was her death to ruin a party. But nonetheless, she'd be at her ruling parties. That was right up her alley. Of course, her death was going to ruin the whole block party. I was like, so y'all really didn't like this woman. I am saying to say that I don't have a problem with my neighbors at all. The next door neighbor's cat just be walking through my yard. I do not care at all because I don't be going in my backyard like that. Go on here, roam in the backyard, cat. Do what you do. So we getting more and more about learning more and more about the neighborhood. One of the ladies, she seemed like she's sweet as pie. She baked um a thing that and another detective, you know, baked them some some bread and you know, she been cooking up a storm. Well, we found out that she is wanted for theft and bigotry. Yeah, I she's worth theft, identity theft, and bigotry. So, old girl who got shot and killed and was in the pool, she was stealing people's mail. So, she found out about said woman. So, it's like, okay, so the woman knew that you wasn't who you said you was. She talking about some, oh my goodness. The, her husband's like, oh, she, she's a good woman. She would never kill anybody. It's like, this ain't your wife, you know. She's like, you know about Jerome? That's like, Jerome who? Oh. Y'all was talking about, Mar oh, you said, it was like, you know about Jerome? That's like, no, we talking about Marsha. She's like, oh, my bad. Now y'all know about Jerome. So this is what she do. She get with unsuspecting men, marry them. I'm like, girl, you can't get a divorce? That seemed like it'll be a lot easier on you and less stress on you to just be like, okay, I don't want to be with you no more and marry somebody else. Unless she is marrying all of them and staying with all of them. They didn't really get into that, but, you know, she didn't get arrested because she married to this dude, married to Jerome and Marshall. I'm like, girl, you got too much time in your hand. So this is when your girl was all kind of stressed out. May she receives a call from this dude. He want to hurt people because he is a hurt person. He He's thinking about getting revenge. And May is trying to calm him down. But to no avail. So the firefighter, they get there. And he got a whole bomb out here. And Chimney is just thinking, okay, this man... Not knowing that it is the bomb person. That this is a man who was just got asthma and just got caught in the doggone building. No, nope, this is the man who wants to, you know, destroy some things. I don't know how you two gonna handle some things. So I'm gonna try to word my, you know, word things a little bit better. This man, he wants to destroy this building by a way of some type of device. Read between the lines, y'all. Y'all smart. Y'all can do that. So, apparently this man had worked at this company for like 20 years and he got hurt and was laid off. Several of the jobs he, you know, was laid off too. He got bad, bad asthma. So, he wanted to take it out on his company and take down as many people as he can. At one point, Jimmy, he just over here talking to the dude, telling him about all the secrets that he know. Dude was like, yeah, man, that's messed up. I can't believe they do that. I, and they sitting here talking like they're old friends. I'm like, Chimney, sir, this man has a, he has a device that he wants to destroy things. It's one of them, I mean, I do this and things is gone. That's what he got in his hand right now. So, Chimney gains this man's trust. It's like, it looks like you need to a little bit of oxygen in your system. Here, just take this. I ain't, ain't going to do nothing. And then, wham, not do that. Call everybody like, everybody is cool. It's cool. Y'all can come help this man. But the bad thing is, the man didn't regain conscience as he is getting wheeled into the ambulance. And he's like, oh, is that Buck? And Jimmy's like, all right, that's enough of you. Go ahead with it. Buck like, hey, how you know about that? I ain't never met this man before, Chimney. What, what, what's going on? Chimney, quick, fast, and in a hurry, you know, put that man in the ambulance and sent him on his way. And when he got back to the crew station, he was like, so the secret is about Buck, huh? I'm proud of you because usually you can't hold water. But the fact that you have not spilled anything yet, I am, well, at least to us, I'm proud of you. Like, he had to get that secret out, even if it was, it was to this man who was out here trying to destroy things. So, 
So it turns out identity theft, I like to have several husbands, is not the actual, you know, suspect. She is not the suspect after all. Now, what had happened was, Miss, I don't like to party and I don't want anybody in my close vicinity to party either. I'm like, ma'am, if you're so opposed to happiness and everything, why don't you get you a house out in the middle of nowhere? Why didn't you do that? You want to, obviously you want to be around people or do you want to be around people to make them miserable? Well, what happened was she was about to, you know, take that dog out because the dog hadn't gotten her yard yet again. So, she went and, you know, grabbed a girl's gun. Was about to take the dog out, but, you know, you know, lost her foot and the gun went everywhere. She actually, you know, shot herself. Because she was trying to take this dog out. So, you see, I heard doing ugly and this is what happens to you. Well, identity theft lady, she was on the per porch with, you know, third husband and they heard the gunshot go off. And she's like, okay, so this ain't good. Because she done already went over there and tried to, you know, I guess, call herself taken, you know. I don't like the party neighbor out. And I don't like the party grab the gun from her. So now, you know, identity theft. I let, I have three husbands laid. It's like, I can't have my gun laying next to this dead woman's body. So, before the ambulance got there, she, you know, hopped the fence, grabbed her arm and, you know, kind of scooted the gun over there and got the gun. Where she was stupid and she should have put it in a storage unit somewhere, but she had it in her house. She didn't know nobody was going to go and look for all that. But they knew it was her because they found flour and, you know, old girl, I don't like the part in the house. You know, I like the Snoop house. So, it was all because of the dog that the woman... This old, I don't want to say she evil, but this angry woman is no longer here. Because she was out here trying to take this dog out. Now, lastly, during this family dinner, Buck just has an outburst at his parents from the way that they treated he and Maddie when they was kids. Like, y'all over here trying to be concerned and happy grandparents where was this when we was little y'all was just like y'all ain't care for us y'all you know made sure we was fed and you know sheltered but where was the love at it's like the reason why i'm on, i'm in therapy it has nothing to do with the job it has everything to do with y'all so like he didn't have enough well Maddie's, well, their mom and dad had, like, left a little box with all of Maddie's things for when she was a baby so she can give to her daughter. Now, Buck was like, oh, I can't believe I did that. Where's mine at? So, you know, Timmy, I'd be like, you're still, you know, you know, growing boy. So, you know, you're not, not quite a man yet. Well, inside her box was, like, little baby shoes and things like that. And then there's a picture of a little boy that ain't Buck. Buck was like, who this? This is before I was born. It looks like they had a brother and he passed away. So, I'm thinking that they were so grief-stricken about losing their son. They thought adopting a little boy was going to help, but it didn't. And they were still in their grief as the children were growing up and they didn't know how to get out of it. That kind of seems like what's going on. It's like, we adopted book. To fill this hole in our heart. And this hole in our heart was never filled. And they just never told Buck. I'm kind of thinking that. that. That's going on. I remember I was watching the show The Nick. And like one of the doctors at the hospital. It was about like. Uh, New York Hospital. In like early 1900s. When they was you know. Not the best you know medical treatment. They really still didn't know a lot. And one of the doctors, his daughter died because she like had a high fever. So it was like, okay, in order for the mom to cope, we just gonna give you another daughter. Everything will be all right. But this doggo woman, so out of her mind, she did the same treatment on the adoptive daughter and ended up killing her too. Yeah. But I'm thinking he was adopted and nobody has told him. I'm like, it's time to tell him now. This man is full on grown. I think he can handle it. I, th I think he can.
So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a video, you can click on it, you can like it, and you share it with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, uh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. And tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.